But it's time now for my next guest. Now, when Roxy Mitchell arrived in Albert Square, she had trouble. Trouble written all over her face. She married bad boy Sean Slater, but she had a baby with Jack Branning, and she even ran over Pat and had a baby kidnapped. She's currently... <laughs> 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 Don't you love soaps? I just love them. She's currently caught up in a love triangle involving her sister and that scoundrel Jack. Will you please welcome the award-winning actress who brings Roxy to life? Let's hear it, please. With a very lovely Risa Simons. Come on, let's hear it. Ray, uh, it's good to see you. Oh, those legs. Oh, she's, she's fabulous, <laughs> isn't like she? A midget. <laughs> Get out of this. Oh. <laughs> Last time I saw you was Scott Maslin's wedding. No, yes. That, that was a good day out, wasn't it? It was. That's the first time we met. We did. And, we had the and ball. Sam got jealous because Paul liked me better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. You know, when you meet somebody and you hit them off, I thought, this girl, yeah, 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 yeah. she's right up my alley, this girl, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> now, Roxy and Jack kissed at the christening, didn't they? They did, Now, yeah. please tell us, are they going to take things further? Oh, I hope not. Well, tonight, when I get back to the, to the Vic and Ronnie has trashed... Uh, I want people to start thinking Ronnie's evil and stop... You know, give me some sympathy. <laughs> Ronnie has trashed the baby's christening spread. Yeah, she's trashed it. Anyway, Jack comes in and, and basically I, I have a proper go at him and say, you know, you make a choice between me and Ronnie. <laughs> sympathy. <laughs> I mean, did, has she got any, does she feel any guilt about what she's doing to her sister? The thing no, is, she's... <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> I sit there and I watch it and I go... What? I How know. is she getting away with this? Can I tell you that I read the scripts sometimes and I think, yes, redemption, it's all right, it's, she's going to come good. And then the next <laughs> week I'll get another script and I'm like, why have you done it to me again? But, Risa, you managed to make her sympathetic. Oh, do you think yeah. so? Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. No, they don't. They do. they do as I tell them, Risa. You do. <laughs> no, you do. I don't know what it is. Oh, I hope so. No, you do, because she's not a total villain, is she? You sort of... She's no. not. She's not. The thing is with Roxy is, is she's got a really, really good heart. Yeah, exactly. she's dumb. Yeah. She's so thick. She's easily led. <laughs> she is. She's thick, isn't she's she? She's easily led. And she is. And, yeah. and unfortunately, you know, she wears her heart on her sleeve yeah. and... Anyone shows her a bit of affection and she's like, mm hmm. And it, yeah. <laughs> and Jack Brannan comes along and bang, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look at tonight's show, oh, eh? No. See what carnage and damage <laughs> she's creating in the square. <gasps> you choose my sister, don't you? Over your own daughter, don't you? Because that's what your heart is. No. And you ain't even got the bottle to tell me. <sighs> Do you know what? It's... You're not doing it. You're not doing it to her. All right, you are lying and you are not doing it to Amy. You are having nothing to do with her from now on, do you get me? Because our daughter, that little girl, deserves a lot more than some second choice dad. You're only watching this when you watch, <laughs> when you watch EastEnders. Yeah. You can see, you three, you, Sam, and Scott Maslam, you're having a great time because well, you've got great yeah. chemistry there. We do. Yeah. Uh, I love Scott. I love yeah. Sam. I mean, I love them all, but yeah. when you work with Scott, and anyone who works at EastEnders will tell you this, yeah. it's just raucous. The guy oh, has it? you on the floor in fits of laughter the whole time, and me and Sam are both constant. We get sent off set because we're laughing too much. We get told off. Me and Scott, both, well... I got told by a certain someone upstairs the other day that um, it's very nice, it's a lovely atmosphere at work and, you know, they're glad we're all having a laugh, but you and Scott are a little bit hyper. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are, but it's brilliant. And they actually haven't been at work this week and I'm, I'm really missing them. It's a bit like... Misery in your dressing room yeah. and where's me friends? Yeah. How do you feel about the costumes for Roxy? Like Roxy's rara skirts. Oh, they're awful. They make me die. They are. <laughs> but do you know what I do? I, I, I kind of embrace it, yeah, yeah. and... You know that's how she's supposed to dress. She yeah, thinks she's a yeah. teenager. So when costume come to me with these ridiculous outfits, I, I don't ever... You can't be proud. Yeah, yeah. So I don't ever go, well, it's not very flattering. I know I look a bit weird in some of them and they don't fit properly. <laughs> but that's what she would. She'd squeeze yeah, into yeah, things yeah. that don't fit her. So I, I relish it and I try and 
you know, just go with the flow, because the more ridiculous the costumes, the better Roxy I is. I expect you to be listening to, oh, Mickey, you're so fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Mickey, oh, Mickey. <laughs> no, no, skits. Who got cast first, you know, for the show? Was it you or Sam? Sam it, Janice? Sam. Before, they had the idea of Ronnie and Roxy. Yeah. And way before any of the auditions, Dominic, it was Dominic Treadwell Collins, yeah. who, who is one of the writers. Oh, I, he'll, he's going to go mad at me now, because I don't know his act job description, but, you know, he one of the there. big yeah. knobs. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, Lord and Lisa, Phil. aren't they? They come in for the warm and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so he came up with the idea of Ronnie and Roxy and he always knew he wanted Sam. I tell you what, it was like throwing a firecracker in that pub, you two arriving. It, it really, like, sparked it up, didn't I it? I hope so. Yeah. I do hope so. Yeah. And, and, you know, working with Sam... Cos when they cast me after they'd already cast Sam, it could have been awful. Yeah. It could have been yeah. too, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I love her. Yeah. I miss her that she's away. She's getting married, doesn't she? She next is. Week? She's yeah. getting married next week. I'm actually going with my mum's up there somewhere. Oh, Who's my, your mum? There's my mum oh, there. Oh, there's your mum there. Right, mum. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, mum. <laughs> right, mum. Um, we're going shopping after here to get something to wear for Sam's wedding. Oh, are you? Yes. What about the soap awards? Are you going to them? Yeah. 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 I'm not going. We're going to have a good night. Well, I'm not in a soap, am I? Yeah, but come. Well, what am I going to do? Hang yeah. around like the bad fairy of the christening? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you I actually like here, you. Paul O'Grady? I don't know. Half... Rita invited me. <laughs> I'm going with Rita. Half the reason I go to the awards is to see you. <laughs> well, the that. good thing is the party's afterwards, isn't it? If it's yeah. a good do, if they have a great party, then it's fabulous. Well, uh, the party last year was a little bit like it was rammed. It yeah. was really rammed, and I was wearing this. Ridiculous ridiculous dress which I wish I never wore and it was really long With a train. Uh, yeah. yeah and I was stepping on it at one point someone put chewing gum on the floor and it got trod into my dress and Johnny Partridge cut a lump out of my dress and, and I was walking around with a hole in this really expensive gown so I yeah the party's a bit I'm wearing a suit this time so yeah. I'm not gonna have any of that mess something that can be sponged down that's what I that's what it's I always white. think yeah oh is it yeah Are you out your mind I know. <laughs> My mum said that before. <laughs> oh, did she? Great mind yeah. thinking. Oh, I might come then. I might escort oh, you come. anyway. So I stand in front. So don't come anywhere near us with booze. <laughs> you were in a band, weren't you? The female version of the Village People. No. You were. Come no. on, Rita. No. Yes, you were. Because we've got proof. <laughs> <laughs> Which one were you? It's very serious. I was the mechanic. <laughs> 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 See, oh, <it's> <laughs> we've got a clip, you know. Do you no! Want... <laughs> yeah. Let's, oh, let's see, let's see if you talk to Go on then. <laughs> let's have a look, please, oh, Bess, at Reason in Action. Come on, girls. <laughs> Do you miss it, like a performing side? I don't miss... You know what? My costumes now are worse than that, so that's all right. <laughs> I, I miss... Yeah, I really, really enjoyed yeah. travelling with the girls, yeah. doing all the shows, singing, dancing. I loved it. Now, your uncle's <laughs> Alan Sugar, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. No. No. Alan Sugar is lucky enough, yeah. They always ask it the wrong way round. Yeah. They should ask him if I'm his niece. You're his niece. You're right. Alan Sugar has you for a niece. He does. What's he like in real life? He's, not, he's lovely. Yeah, I met him once at a do. Where did you meet him? Uh, at the Albus Hall, so it must have been the National Telly Awards. I was there. Are we, I was there. I remember, I remember. Yes, yeah, yes. He was with his missus. He was, with, she was that's my auntie yeah. Anne, who yeah. is my dad's sister. So, in fact, I introduced Johnny Partridge to my auntie and uncle, and I said, Johnny, this is... This is Lady Anne, this is my uncle's wife. And she went, eh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm your father's sister. I'm your auntie. And I said, I'm your auntie. Ooh. Yeah. Listen, good luck at the soap awards. Thank I you. hope you clean up. Let's hear the please. For Reese Simons, come on. Thank you. Thank you. She's going to get Rita. OK, come on, Reese. Okay. You, you can do this. Let's, have, let's right. move on a little bit forward here. We all get in a line. Now, get in your hoop, you step inside, and we're going to make a motion with our hip. We isolate the hip. Can you understand me when I speak? I know I sometimes... I can understand it. Oh, good. My accent... <laughs> my accent can be very hard sometimes... No, no it's OK. No, no, no. ...to do. <laughs> so, what you want to do is really push the hoop with your hips. It's the same motion that we use to, um... Well... <laughs> I can't really think of an example right now, but anyway, throw the hoop. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Throw the okay, hoop I'm and push it way. with you. Yeah, that's really. Woo! That was pretty good. Go ahead, try it. Really push, push, push. 
Go on, Ray. Oh, my God. Go on, Ray, there. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm doing my fourth take. This thing there, Rita. Nan. Wendy Samways from Southampton. There you go. <laughs> Teresa Simons. Let's hear it, Teresa. Go on, Rita.